Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Um, okay, you know what I'm going to ask you to hit. You know who this is. You know what I'm going to ask you to press and why I'm going to ask you to press it. Let me go ahead and get straight to this message too. Now, this is about DJ Kid. I forgot his real name. I don't even care. He is a kid. His boy ain't never grown the hell up. Spreading HIV to 600 plus black women. And I'm going to say two things about it. Number one, this does sound like some federal operation stuff. Because this dude had HIV. And he has a, there's a screenshot of him messaging somebody saying that his formula was simple. Sleep with as many loose black hoes as he can. Go in them raw, nut in them raw. And hope that they continue being fast and loose with black boys. He was allowed to keep doing this until he surpassed 600 long as they were black, as soon as a white girl reported that he spread it to her, he got arrested. That's what I've heard so far from Nyla. I'm looking to get more information before I draw conclusions, but if that information that I heard so far is true, that tells you everything you need to know right there. Does it not? This explains everything there. That tells you all. If that information is true, that would prove that there was some kind of operation going on. Somebody in some federal office probably a white nationalist told local law enforcement in his area don't go after this guy if you do tell us that you got him he's one of ours we need to know inform us as soon as he's if he's ever arrested inform us as soon as that's probably what wound up happening that's not all let me go on to the rest of this there's something bigger at stake here and this is why it is i just said so what i i mean i just recorded something for jay shine jay shine this is exactly why it is the brothers need to get passports and leave this is why it is that bgs feels that the community is defeated this is why obsidian says you can't save the community let them choke in their own blood this is the reason for it yes it's also about the pussy i mean it, either it's about the pussy or it's not now, if life is not going to be about the draws ever, then what this means is nobody gets any. But what's happening in our situation, our community, is that the worse of a choice you are as a man, the more you get. And that's backwards enough. That is reason enough to leave a community and say, I'm going to go ahead and start over here with somebody else. We don't have a choice. You can't save a community like this. I'm sorry. See, let me explain this, not just to Jay Sean, but to anybody that wants to point at cis bin men and say y'all cowards or something like that. No, no. I know from experience, because I'm not a white dude. I'm just a light-skinned brother. Straight hair. When I had hair. That's all I was. I wasn't beaten up all the time by sisters. On occasions, I was threatened. Some did try. Usually, uh, usually I could outrun them or outmaneuver them so that I didn't have to hit a woman. But I can say this, though, there were more black women that wanted to fight me than there were black men. Growing up as a teenager, there were more black girls that wanted to fight than there were black boys. We, you know, me and some brothers, we might get into it, but after a while, we got used to it. We tolerated each other. We knew each other. We realized I'm not out to hurt this dude. He ain't out to hurt me. Sisters, no. There were those who were great friends. But there was, uh, by the same token... The same ones that would want to know why I was single would have been offended if I had shown interest in them. Because what's the reason? Even if they liked me, they didn't want to be seen out in public with a light bright. And I didn't blame them when I realized what it was. Because, like I said, I'm pro-black. And if you're going to fight white supremacy with the womb, I'm fine with it. I figured, you know what? That's a hell of a strategy. I could use my own reproductive system to fight white supremacy. And what that means is that, simply put, I'm not going to mate with a white woman. That's not going to happen. But maybe I can put the black blood I do have into another population. Maybe that's the case. I, I remember thinking maybe that's what's better for us. Sisters, if I'm not sisters type, especially when they're attractive and they got something to offer, that makes me not their type. Okay, fair enough. I'm not black enough. I get it because I'm pro-black. So, you know, if I'm not black enough, nothing personal. I'll take it. As long as that's really what the hell it is and as long as that is consistent. But then later on, I come to see the wait a minute, hold up. When the sisters lose options, all of a sudden, I'm black enough now. It doesn't matter anymore.
Being seen out in public with me is not really going to hold us back. It doesn't hold them back from me, but that's after she's had some other man's kids or she's gained some weight. She's just not as attractive anymore for whatever reason. She has to lose options in other men, then I'm okay. So I'm an insurance policy. That's what I am. That's when I said, oh, hell, hell, knock and fall. I'm done with this. And being a Muslim is the reason why my daughters are black. Because shortly after that, I became Muslim. I was introduced to an African-American Muslim. I do regret getting married to her. But I was introduced to her. We had two daughters. The African-American on both sides of the family. Had it not been for that, my daughters would have probably been... Uh, either they would have been black on both sides, but not African-American on both sides, or they would have been black on my side and probably unrecognizable at that, depending on how foreign black women felt about me. And as I was coming to find, many of them uh, liked me, but they were hiding it. That's what I came to understand after a while. Oh, yeah, there were black women from other countries that liked me, but they wouldn't admit it. They wouldn't show it because, you know, they're conservative. I said, well, that's not what the hell I need. That's, that's not what I need at this point. Because I grew up in an environment where if they don't seem to like you, they don't like you. That's what you have to assume in order to stay out of jail. But now, forget about this. I mean, I'm just light bright. This is a white dude ready, and he ran through 600. Where the F are the standards? I know these girls were so-called, many of them were underage. I don't feel a guck. They were old enough to say no, and we know that they do say no because most of us young boys have experience with women telling us no. Even young guys that did not try to get the draws when they were that young had experience with women saying no because at that age, the girls would say no just to get a kick out, just to get a kick out of it, just to assert something. Because, you know, they could brag about saying no back then. I told him he ain't getting none of this. So, you know, you ain't even trying. You just friendly. Okay, look, now let me establish this right quick. You ain't getting none of this. Yeah, but I didn't try that. Don't worry about that. Nowadays, I understand. Even though I don't try that, if a woman says it, we're done right off the bat. Even if, especially because I'm not going to try that. I'm married anyway, and when I wasn't, I wasn't trying to fornicate. So now I understand, but you know, at a young age, we don't know. Especially guys my age. We weren't told this, so we had to deal with all these barriers, especially those of you who can afford internet, let alone can listen to me right now. You understood. You know what? There were all these barriers that they put up. This white dude comes around, and because he can spin a few records and mix them up, he can go through 600 black women and spread HIV that are old enough to say not only yes, but no. Because remember, not one of them was an outright forcible rape case. These are all, all of the rape cases are statutory rape cases. It means he didn't pin nobody down. And the screenshot said he had a plan. Sleep with as many loose black holes as he could, go in them raw and nut in them, and hope they were fast with these other dudes. Hope they would be fast with some other black boys. This means he wasn't anticipating them sleeping with other white guys. He was anticipating being the only white guy because he wasn't trying to spread HIV to the white population until he gave in a temptation with that one white chick. And that's when he got caught. But getting back to this, hold the, I mean, hold the effing phone. He's white and he gets to run through these white broads. He gets to run through these white chicks and tear it up. I mean, black women and tear it up. Now, we all know they ain't even in the white dudes. I mean, historically speaking, we've known black women are not in the white dudes. They were the least open to interracial dating when the stats first came out. Didn't just say they were the least likely to be involved or the least likely to get approached. They were the least open to it when they when they reported on these studies. They gave the self-reports. Are you open? No. <laughs> no, he got to be black. Now, what is it? Now, what's going on? Not on. See, here's the thing. Brothers, you know the barriers you got to go through. I get it. It's okay for women to have standards. But you know the barriers you got to go through go beyond standards as defined by any community in the world. The barriers you got to go through are not just having her having standards. The barriers you got to go through are you got to prove that you ain't no punk bitch. Otherwise, she going to walk the F over you and leave you. She going to take everything from you, give nothing to you, then leave you later on. Probably even make you watch while she does some other dude. These women that our community in America and in even in the UK are ucked fup. And even they, they now, they're right in one thing. They say, look, we have the right to go after men that have sex appeal. Okay, fine. Ask them to define it. They can't. 
But if you sit up there and ask them to show it by going showing you, pointing out the men that have sex appeal, there's always something morally wrong with every last one of these men, not because they're human, but because they associate sex appeal with something immoral in the subconscious. But you see it when you're looking at it from the outside better than they do when they're performing and showing you. That's what's happening here. Now, you know, as a brother, you got to go through all these barriers. And if you were light bright, you got to go through more. In some parts of the country, you got to go through more if you're very dark. Although that's very much so been on the decline for the last almost 30 years. Matter of fact, I say for the last 30 years now because I remember the summer it got started, 1989. That's when it was changing up. Hell, even that spring, and we're well past the spring and summer of 2019. So yeah, three, gener three decades now. It's been, it's been like that. You light bright, you got to go through more. And that's even if they like you. BGS even pointed that out. You could be their type, but they don't want to be seen out in public with you. BGS was talking about that with me and with Mr. Edward Anderson. This is real. This is what's going on. If you short, you got to go through extra barriers and you still probably ain't going to make it. If you just ain't got no felonies, you got to go through extra barriers and you probably still ain't going to make it. If you just... Uh, I mean, it could be anything. You can wear the wrong color shirt. They're, they're busy overanalyzing you psychologically and interpreting everything in the worst possible manner. And the only thing that stops them from doing that is when there are enough other women to tell them that's wrong. That's it. A pre-established reputation is all that can save you. But this right dude... DJ Kid, who can't do nothing but spin somebody else's records around and mix them up, which is a nice skill to have, but a whole lot, a lot of brothers got it, manages to get through 600, and he didn't get a bad dick report after body uh, after the body count of 30. I'm older than this guy. I'm not in the double digits. Now, the fact is I don't want to be, but that doesn't mean I'm going to sit up here and, and act like even though I don't want that high of a body count, my body counts is actually too high for me. It's close to the double digits. I don't like that because I'm a Muslim. But let's look at the facts for what it is. Let's judge everybody consistently. If sisters will allow this man to have a triple digit body count, 600, then who the F are they to sit up and tell brothers that you can't even have a double digit one? And this, and we're making this plain to you even when you're not trying. So, Jay Shine, I want you to understand, bruh, this is why brothers got to get passports. You can't save a community like this. Why is that? Because we've been, although we could so-called step up and do all this stuff, we don't have the legal power anywhere in the West, as I said. And because we don't have that, we're not allowed to stop something like this. And understand this, this is a Western white male thing too. These women in the West are allowed to say, my body, my choice. They're allowed to say that. This, that's the mantra, my body, my choice. I F who I want and I abort the babies when I don't want the, uh, to, to carry these babies to term. If I think the baby's going to be a pathetic genetic specimen, I get to abort the baby. But if I think that the father is genetically an alpha, I'm gonna carry that baby to term. Because we're practicing eugenics. I'm talking from the women's standpoint. Western women in general, white or black alike. Because on a subconscious level, they don't even believe that, pe that different people's DNA is equal. Imagine that. And you're saying, don't lead a community. Get your passports for other reasons. I say get your passports for multiple reasons, but one of them being to see what d different women are like. <laughs> because women are important to men and men are important to women. Naturally, the thing is that in the West, the women are told men ain't nothing, but their money's important. And as a matter of fact, if they make good money, then they're probably uh, crap in bed. So all of them are important for the money only, and a few of them are important for the dingling and the sperm inside of it, and that's it. So get most of them to raise the children of the very few. That's what we're dealing with, bro. That's why it is that, no, when the, even when it comes to women, you need to get your passport. You can't stay in the West. It's not just the United States, bro. You can't stay in the West in general. Because these women feel entitled to all of the benefits and none of the harms and none of the disadvantages and none of the cost of anything. And they feel entitled to these things at our expense, to be honest with you, bro. And even a white bitch will sit up and use her man if she can. And when her white men get wise to this, which you've said that they've been doing for a while, when they get wise to this, then the white bitch decides, OK, you know what? I'm going to go for the black man. I'm fat, so I'm going to go get me a black man. And there, most brothers 
I mean, it's not all, but there are enough brothers, especially in the Midwest, who are fit and tall, and they are stupid enough to fall along with that. So a white chick, you know, comes along. She fat, but he's like, oh, she got that booty, though. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, she got that booty. She got that gut, too. And it doesn't go past her breast. But, you know, you, you happy with that. You got muscles. She's bringing you a gut. She can't even gain weight the way a black woman would. But you, you, can't, you all right with that. There are enough brothers out there like that for white women to feel this way. But we still being judged by a double standard, bro. And there's no way to respond to that except to say, okay, I see that there's a double standard. I got to be and do and know all of these things in order to be even, you know, compatible with you. But the white dude doesn't have to be anything special. Just a white dude who can spin a few records and bob his head a little bit with some headphones on it. And 600 of y'all are going to line up one after the other to take this nigga's HIV shot. Not the shot to treat it, but the shot to get it. The ding -ling. That's what we're dealing with, bro. And we got to sit up and say, well, okay, well, if the dads weren't in the homes, then what were the mothers doing? Why the dads weren't in the homes, that's another topic, but it is worth discussing. However, if the dads weren't in the homes, then what were the mothers doing? What was going on? Because, bro, I can tell you, when I was growing up, there were some girls I tried to date, and they didn't have dads. Their mothers weren't sitting up saying, girl, go ahead and give him some. They weren't saying that. Even when the moms liked me, the mothers were more like, still, the mothers were more like, girl, um, I don't know what they were saying, really. The mothers were more like, girl, take him for all you can get. That's what the single mothers were like. Get as much as you can out of him. And I'd see it. And, you know, somebody pull my coattail and say, bro, you a meal ticket to her. And I'd have to just go ahead and bounce out. We friends now. We just friends. That's it. That's what wound up happening to a lot of brothers, not just me. And yes, I am tripping about one thing. Not so much me, but what I am tripping about is the fact that the standards were different. I'm an okay, uh, I'm, I'm in an okay position, I'm fine. But what about these other brothers? I'm talking on their behalf. What about these other brothers? They normal dudes, they ain't got no felonies, they working, they could even be in the gym. They ain't bad men. They're not willing to be bad men because they know what the stereotypes are about black men and they're not willing to make them true. But they can't compete with a cross-eyed white boy who DJs and has HIV. That's the message that I get from this. And this is why brothers need to get passports. Sister's been doing it anyway. What you think that, that movie was based on? It was based on a book. What was the book based on? It was based on Terry McMillan going down to Jamaica to get her groove back. And he turned out to be into other men and can't go back to Jamaica because of it. Now he's known and he's famous. He even said years ago, if me go back to Jamaica, if me go back to yard, then me go take me down at the airport. He said this. And I was like, good, Jamaica. Excellent. I was like, excellent. That's what you do. Marginalize body And that's the least of what I would say to do. I'm a Muslim. I believe that if you can prove that two people engaged in that kind of stuff, now it's hard to prove, but I believe that if you can prove it, it's a death penalty. It's a capital offense. Promoting it is a capital offense. That's how I believe it, because it's not good for any community. But guess which community is being targeted with that right now? The black community. Oh, but when it came to this white dude, he didn't have to be gay. Not at all. He didn't have to accept it. None of that stuff. They didn't question this. I know they didn't. They took this nigga's ding -a -ling, and they required less of him than they would have required from any black man of any age. And this, whether these ladies were underage or overage, this is enough to feel a sense of betrayal. They did the right thing when they reported him to the police. That was right. That was smart. The police didn't do anything. That right there tells you this is a conspiracy. This is part of an operation. They posted him on social media after the fact that was the right thing to do. But then this means that the subsequent victims afterwards, somebody had to have known that he was on social media and they didn't care. They lowered the standards because he's a cracker. And yes, I'm pissed about it. I'm a sore loser, if that's what you want to call it. Because even though I'm fine, I came out into a comfortable position because I got my passport overall and fought the guck out of America. There's still other brothers 
who have to deal with exactly this. And what this means is that they can work hard, they can build a nice life for themselves, but who are they gonna pass it on to? They can pass it on to somebody else's kids, but why the hell do that? They can pass it on to their nieces and nephews, but why should they pass it on even to their, even to the children of their sisters? Why should they pass this on to the children of their sisters if their sisters were making bad decisions with their pussies? And that's how they got these babies. If your sister was out there being loose with the pussy, with the wrong dudes, why should you turn around and pass this on to her kids while she's alive? Now, if she passes on, that's one thing because you're not sending your sister the wrong message that it's okay. Somebody's going to always be there to bail out of her bad decisions. But if your sister is alive when you pass away, why should you leave it to them? You're going to send a message to your sister. Make the worst decision with your pussy you could possibly make. I'll bail the kids out. No, it's not the way that works. That's not the way you want it to work if you want a community to develop in a stable and cohesive manner. This right here is undermining any efforts of a pro-black male to try to solidify the community, Jay Shine, and others like you. I'm not saying this with hatred, but I'm saying this so you understand. I wish I could have made this message shorter, but I had to record it on the fly. Because once I go inside, I'm not going to have time to record this. I'm outside now doing it. Look, you got to understand, we're being driven away. Gab talk. You know what, you don't have to understand it. I'm just getting the blood off my hands by telling you niggas this stuff. We're being pushed away. We're being driven away. Now, irresponsible, ignorant, idness ass niggas or not. Niggas with felonies and gold teeth and no jobs of severely underemployed, very little in the way of saving. Them niggas ain't being pushed away. We know this. But other men that are doing, that will do fine in other communities are being pushed away in the black community by the black western woman. It's in the UK. It's in the US. We know that. It's in Canada. Hell, Steph Curry can't get enough respect from his wife. He's backing up a rap career. This man is, he is a husband. We know this. What the hell does he get in exchange for it? You saw it last summer. And I know because when I recorded a video about it, it got 18,000 views. I've never had any other video get as many views as that to this day. 18,000 views and then some we're being pushed away if Steph Curry had married a woman from the Philippines it would not have been all that if Steph Curry now she wouldn't have been invited to sit at that red table talk because she ain't a, she wouldn't have been a black woman but if he had married a black Filipina it wouldn't have been all that mess that's what would have happened I myself, I can sit up here and I could say that when I was younger, if I had become Muslim when I was younger, like I did, but I did not marry an African-American woman, I probably still would be with her. The chances are high right off the bat, simply because not because she's not black, but because she's not African-American, because she's not a Western black woman. That's why. Now, I'm going to let you know something else, too. You were right in a future context about the fact that you ain't going to be able to run for white supremacy. It is worldwide to a certain extent. That's true. But the damages and the effects oftentimes are worse in Western countries than they are in non-Western nations. That's the other truth. But also understand this too, bro. Just like that is the case, because white supremacy is global and is still spreading even to remote villages and different places. Just like this is the issue, I also want you to understand too. That when you're dealing with the Western woman... It doesn't matter what you do, it really doesn't. Because of white supremacy, sir, this dude, DJ Kid, was able to go through 600. 600 of some of the most difficult women in the world. Go through 600 of them. Obviously, this nigga was not committing to them. So 600 of them were willing to accept a deal of nothing more than casual sex from this guy. And we know they don't, we know that even a lot of loose ones don't accept this kind of deal from brothers unless they're selling and he tricking. Short of that, no. What is the reason? Jay Shine, is there any other reason? Others like him, Gab Talk, Load Cast, Super Sly. Let me ask you this. Is there any other reason this guy was able to do it except the fact that he was white? Real? Is there? I mean, obviously, if he, if, you know, obviously the standards were lowered because he's white. Is there any other reason for the standards being lowered? What does he have to make up for all these things that this, this checklist that sisters have before they will sometimes date, let alone F somebody? Now, granted, I saw the pictures. You can tell by the pictures how these girls were. 
you could tell but even still these women at that age they're looking at some decent guys that they know and they're saying no no he too corny you could tell that by looking at the picture he found 600 of them though most of you ain't going through 600 strags like that granted you ain't trying but the fact is you know we all know ain't near one of us even superman wouldn't be allowed to go through 600 of them why was he allowed he got further in the mating game in the black community than any of us with HIV, with social media statuses about him as time went on. He was allowed or pass with despite all of these things. If there is no reason other than the fact that he was white, that he was allowed this kind of pass, this means that you can't save sisters. That's what that means. And if you can't save sisters, then you got to save yourself. SYSBM, I'm for it. But I'm willing to sit up and reach out to brothers and say, hey man, look, you may know some sisters that can be saved. I don't. But you, I can tell you about this and it may help you. If you know a sister that actually is worth this information and she's worth it to come along for the ride, that's fine, but she got to leave the U.S. too. But, you know, what if you don't know anybody that be, what if you don't know any sister that's willing to condemn these women too as well? Underage or over age? What if you don't know one that's willing to condemn them for lowering their standards for a cracker, for zaddy? If you don't know one that's willing to condemn them for it, you don't know one that's willing, uh, that's worth trying to save. That's why BGS feels the way he does. That's why Obsidian feels the way he does. That's the reason why, uh, why I feel the way that I do. I don't guarantee you that my, Edo, my non Ados wife is going to be the best thing since sliced bread. I don't guarantee that. It, this, our marriage is still new. What I can tell you, though, what I honestly can tell you is that I am very well respected. The only time I've ever been disrespected in any relationship at all since before I became Muslim or after I became Muslim is when I was married to another non Ados woman. And we'd still been together if it wasn't for the way her government acted. It was her government that split us up. It wasn't her and it wasn't me. That's what I can tell you. I can tell you that at no point, at, in no relationship with any Ados women, even when they loved me, was I respected this much. It never happened. I always had to pay some price that other black men did not have to pay. Always. And yes, it was because I'm a light bright. I finally found that out when I was 22 years old. Three sisters that don't know each other confirmed it for me, pretty much telling me, giving me the game because we were friends and they didn't like seeing me uh, be so confused by what was going on. That's why. That's all it was. That's all the hell it was. You were light bright. Even if they like you, they're afraid to be seen out in public with you. So that's what you're dealing with. That's all it is. The ones who like you are scared to be seen out in public with you. That's why you're getting more approaches from married and committed women talking about we got to keep this on the low. They can use that relationship to get what they wanted in the first place. They like you, but they don't want the publicity. That's what's going on, Blackheart. Now, if that's what's going on, that's what I had to face. Okay, fine and dandy. Why the hell did the white dude get a pass? Forget about me, what about other brothers? It's for these other brothers out here that have to face the same thing for, for different reasons. They gotta face extra scrutiny from African American women or Western black women in general because maybe not even the shape, the height, because of uh, the job prestige they don't have even when it makes them enough money, because of an efficient car they choose to drive which is nice but it's not flashy, because of uh, Hell, because they happen to own a, a lime green shirt. All kind of ignorant, crazy stuff. But a white dude, below average with his cross-eyed self, gets a pass over 600 times because of what? Because he's white, and you and I know it. That right there alone proves what BGS has been saying. There have been black women that marched. They're with us. They're, they're behind us. They got our backs. These women are not part of the problem. We never have to discuss them. But they're no longer the majority, bro. I hope this has been a benefit. Thanks for being patient, you all. Assalamu alaikum.